that was step down. I mean, the, not me stepping down, literally, but the lock. Okay, we'll go here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Guys, thank you. And we're trying to find a link. <laughs> but I come back to the... <laughs> Guys, we are back. Uh, sorry it took so long to get a video up we got really sick after this huge journey you're going to see over the next few videos to get to our winter mooring and we had to focus on putting the stove in because we were freezing um, but we are here uh, if you're new here here's a little recap I'm Chrissy that's Doug and this is Sage and we bought our first narrowboat back in April we've been continuous cruise in the UK canals on our narrowboat Bramley we're learning as we go, enjoying the highs and embracing the lows. But you join us here today at Cosgrove, a lovely village outside Milton Keynes in Northamptonshire. Stop being so sweet, Doug. Oh, my done, my tat's too tight. The top? My not. How long does it take her? She's done well. 32 seconds. If you chuck the whole lot over there, yeah. this is how I do it anyway. And then you pull it back? Yeah, and then at the last minute give it a, like a, like when it's right to the end. Give it a little bit. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Alright guys, so now we're just about to set off and head through Cosgrove Lock and we're going to be going through Milton Keynes which is my hometown so I'm really excited to be going through it for the first time. Um, <clears throat> it was actually where I was born and I was there till I was 11 and I never visited the canals or at least I don't think I did. It's crazy but yeah I'm excited. That was step down. I mean the, not me stepping down literally the, the lock. A little little step, isn't it? <laughs> tiny, tiny lock. Did you get a quiche out? I did. Vegan quiche. <laughs> As we headed from Cosgrove Lock, we arrived at the Iron Trunk Aqueduct. Now 212 years old, the history of this structure is not only incredibly interesting but impressive. It is the world's first wide cast iron trowel aqueduct that carries the Grand Union Canal over the River Great Ouse. What's interesting about its history is that the original structure, made of brick, collapsed in February 1808 after just three years of use. There is a lot more to that story, but I'll let you have a little read if you want to. It's such a great day out and Cosgrove is lovely. So I'm just um, snapping this in, hoping to make a walk all the way. goes away, oh, you cut glass with it. Mm. Um, right now you join us at breakfast time, so you're just having a bit and we're trying to find a leak. <laughs> you know that water we got in the hole the other week? <laughs> yeah, it, it came back 
Um, we don't know if it was rain, rainwater getting in. Um, we need it to rain now so we can see if that's the case. But last night we cleared it out and there's a little tiny bit in there this morning. And the pump, our water pump obviously broke the other day, but now it's been cycling. It had been doing this for a long time. So it, that could be the leak. Just very slow. So it repressurizes every so often, but it's become more frequent recently. So we thought it was to do with like temperature, you know, change in temperature, but it's been happening in the day now. And yeah, so that is worrying. Doug is looking at me mystified. We literally have just ripped out, well, Doug ripped out the sink. <laughs> We weren't, using it. we weren't using it anyway but we ripped it out anyway so we could see um and then we looked at all the pipes all the fixings there's no leaks that end of the boat sage is currently napping and then i was watching the nomadic robot because i remember they had a leak and i was like what if it's coming down from the outside of the stern like they had the issue doug's just put his fingers under there and it's very rusty it's a little bit wet Rusty. So there's a bit everywhere else looks so clean cut. There's no there's no water like from here down, which means water's coming from the tank. I wonder why this has got the wet mark on it. Maybe they had the same issue. Maybe it's bad condensation. I find this terribly frightening, like when you pull up something because we don't know the boat, like below surface level. And you're like hoping and praying that it's fine. It's not fine, but it's never going to be fine because it's a boat, but like not, I don't know, horrendous. I'm just hoping that Sage doesn't wake up because the problem is we get in the middle of something when Sage, um, Sage wakes up and we're going to put everything back or one of us has to take her out and then it's just one of us trying to do it and yeah it's a bit of a nightmare really don't live on a boat and have kids guys he's joking obviously it's it's fun <laughs> if, if we built the boat ourselves it'd be fun hold a minute steps and a toddler seat Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my goodness. The last of the light before it goes, but we um <laughs> we didn't find any moisture. Ah! Okay. Any moisture at the front and in the tank. So and we spoken to a few people. It could be condensation because there ain't no moisture nowhere they can't find any drips anywhere uh but good news got rid of the little vanity unit with the sink in looks at different areas of the hull where we can get to but little gaps and things nothing so someone's where well, you looked online it said condensation could be the thing because it's just like changed the temperature has dramatically changed isn't it and it is quite possible that that's because it, it is. Because it is only like a pint or two. And if you think about, we were talking about the windows and the amount of conversation we get on those and then the bottom of the, the, the hull, how much must be on that? And, and where the that surface goes. area of that is quite substantial. And a friend of ours has said that, you know, at radio has put moisture, moisture into the boat. Into the, boat. the stove takes it out. So yeah. Thanks, Paul. Thank you, Paul. Um, We'll see. The, 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 it doesn't stop the fact that the the water pump is still going off, but yeah. that could be could be a fault. Could be a fault, as in it, it did pack up on us the other day. Or there still might be a little leak somewhere, but it's so like minuscule, it doesn't make much difference. Yeah. Right? But we're gonna get to our winter mooring and then do some more. Figure it out. <laughs> but for now, we're just gonna keep an eye on it. We've got that 
little hatch at the back we can go and just keep mopping it up if there's more in there but it's not enough to pose an issue right now but we're aware of it which is I, good in like I don't know, in the next week's video, I'll be like, ah, and it's us like with buckets trying to get all the out. <laughs> but look at my new vanity case. Look at this was what Doug made. Hey. So took the sink out hey. and put this on there. I think it's staying. I think it's the new the new bathroom vibe. It's not. It's but... called like uh, bin chic. <laughs> um, yeah, this is, this is a project for when, I don't know. When we get rid of the bath. And get the shower in. I was actually looking at that. It's gonna be great with the shower. In. It's gonna be so good. There's gonna be so Imagine much room. How big the shower's gonna be? No, we can't have it. Outside. Well, we can. We can. We can. Because we just need to make sure this is fully like waterproofed. Yeah. And then everything else is fine. And we're gonna redo the tiles as well. Still. So that's still the thing. You still want the tiles redone? No, we're not redoing those. We're gonna leave these. Yeah. Yes. We're gonna paint them. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I'm joking. No, you're not. You want to paint them. We'll see. But we don't have any hot water because I've been faffing around all day and Sage needs a bath. So I'm currently boiling. And I need a shower. And yeah, that's not gonna happen. Is the bath still on? I smell so bad, I really need a shower. I can be the perfect daughter. But I come back to the... Um, if we get copyrighted for that, that would be. Well. That would say that we're pretty good at singing. Make way! Make way! Make way. <laughs> um, we're just moving through Milton Keynes now. We're just doing a little move today because we want to get closer to the other side so that this weekend we can just go because we've got a really big move this weekend. We're going to do very long days. So, yeah, we're just. We're just bracing ourselves now, doing the little bits, um, but going through the on Keynes is cool. Um, and now we're heading on onwards to Fenny Stratford, all around there. Yeah. It's nice because there's lots of boats in Milton Keynes, which feels like you're getting closer to kind of, I guess because we're in a city, but we're getting closer to London, which is, which is fun. The rain has arrived. It's a little bit cold. Oh, it's all raining at all. Just gonna check in on Doug. There he is. There is Doug. Got the lunch on. Um, it's very snazzy lunch. We've got sausage rolls. Um, and there is a lock in there. Keynes, which I didn't realise is at Benny Stratford. I thought it was quite flat here, but it must be quite a small one. Good morning. We are. Good morning! Sorry. It's really loud. Good morning. Good morning. It's quite early. We are child free, guys. Which is really sad. <laughs> it's really sad. So, you had a bit of a hard night. She's staying at um, Doug's sister's, and uh, yeah, bless her. She had a, bit of a few, a couple of little cries in the night. Yeah, um, she's just a developmental thing. But we are on our own for the first time on the boat, which is strange, but together. Um, so that feels weird. But we've got a big, big journey. And lots of um, DIY. Yeah, we, which we started last night. Um, we started on our bedroom wardrobe thingy, midgey. Yeah, which and, um, we'll show you in a bit. But yeah, we, we've got a big journey. We're trying to get to Berkhamstead in a day. <laughs> it's stupid. 14 hours cruising. We're never going to get there. Obviously. We're never going to get there. And it's like 30 um, locks or something. Oh, there is someone at the lock. Yeah. So um, should we, we should just tell them to leave it open. And yeah, yeah. Let's get going. Do you want to do that? And I'll get back, go back and get the boat. Um, yeah, I'll tell them. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll catch up later. We're going to leave that there because next week we venture without a child, which is very different, a bit crazy, um, and was, yeah, it was just different. It's just different. We'll show you what we got up to. Did we make it to Burke instead? We'll see you next week. Thank you for coming back here and thank you for your patience with the video. It's really appreciated. 
Um, thank you for all your support and your coffees. And yeah, we'll see you next week. <laughs>